Get ready for the freak show. Nitrous, nitro, turbo, crazy wheelies, and horsepower galore. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Fans are ready to win some money. They're also ready to get their party on. Is this, a, is this where the party's at tonight? Yeah, this is my Yes, we are having a good time over here. Well, guys, believe it or not, it's my first time at the Dirt Drags, and it's time to break this boy in right. We got some cool spectators here, some cool people, and some fast machines to see. You're going to want to watch till the end as we got a lot of crazy two strokes here as well. Don't get too close. Whoa! Well, guys, that's called taking one for the team. You're welcome. The other things that I'm learning about dirt drags drinking is a big part of it. Well, it's happy hour. Beautiful. There we go. There we go. And shoes are optional. Where are your shoes? Don't get your feet run over. We can't get your feet run over over here. Good job. He's working hard. No shoes needed over here for my man. They are ready to go. Ready to rock today. They continue to roll in. Hello. Now, you know when shoes are optional, you're in the country. God bless them. What, what happened to your shoes? Okay, you do got them. Be careful. You having fun? That's what it's all about. Told you, shoes optional out here. Don't recommend it though. Don't recommend going shoeless. Some of the top teams here getting unloaded. Is it happy hour yet? Yeah, cerveza. Uh -huh. Yeah, me gusta. Must be that time. Oh yeah. Dude, it might even be a dance party over here. Yeah. It's better than a club, right? Yeah. I know one thing, it's a doggone good time. Dad jokes strong tonight. Extra points for that in the comment. What are we doing over here, guys? Good. Good. And some of these guys out here with completely custom chassis for when you really want to take it to the next level. Long, low, and light. Those are the properties that'll make you fly. I can't get over this stuff. Look at this bottle, guys. No, it's not a fire extinguisher on the front of this quad. That is NOS nitrous we must be at the drag races here comes this nitrous monster oh boy big battle between the can amps and the two strokes oh. i told you it would be a freak show and this is one of just many here that's what happens with 1200 cc's and nitrous did i mention these things have some power wow i guess that encouraged me from his homeboys over there help Little 12 o'clock wheelie. We will see a lot of banshees. Look at all the goodies on this. What is your name, sir? Hunter Evans. Hunter, what is it like hitting top speed on this? It's uh, it's an adrenaline rush for sure. Uh, and you do it in hey dudes and shorts. Yes, sir. That's one of the advantages of the dirt, huh? Yes, How about sir. that? And guys, wish him good luck. It's Hunter's first event. He's probably gonna be hooked after this. Man, uh, what do you got done to this thing? Uh, just a few little minor details. Okay. It's a 10 mil cup. Uh, she's stretched 14 out the back. Wow! It's got titanium A arms, uppers and lowers, uh, spindle mounts, shear outer frame pops, and 44 electron carburetors. Good luck to you. Thank you, sir. These guys are wild. These guys are. <laughs> these guys are adrenaline junkies, and you can do it in shorts and tennis shoes. That's still weird to me after many, many years on the asphalt where you had to have the full leathers and the boots above. The floor. As long as you keep it safe. All right, so let's see what you can do here on his very first pass. Welcome to the sport. It's a lot of fun. I do recommend maybe some better safety gear than those boxer short-esque shorts. He's making a fashion statement. That looks cool. We just want you to be protected, young man. He's ready to go, though. As I've said, we've got turbo quads here. We've got nitro quads here. But by far, the most popular combination is the two-stroke. Smells good. Sounds great. This is the Yamaha Banshee. I think Dad's going to have to give him a little help getting into the starting beam through pre-stage into stage. It is a 5-10 sportsman tree that they run here. Here we go. Nice hole shot hooking up. Great job. Hey, how about it for the first ever event? Looking like a veteran out there. Nice, clean, straight run. Fine job, young man. Take a look at this turbo, guys. We've got all different power adders. We've got ourselves a war. Guys, I thought they were joking when they told me this. They have buffalo here. Don't go too far off this racetrack. 
More on them in a bit. But talk about some incentive to get stopped in time. Don't go off this track. I'll tell you what, that is a rush. I just got blasted with roost. We must be back in the dirt tracks. Those banshees, those two strokes, mm, and it smells so good. There it is. What's for dinner tonight? We got some chili cheese fries. We got a hamburger with fries. There we go. There What's we go. the drink of choice? <laughs> there we go. Happy hour we got over here. Georgia Bulldogs. Yeah, when you're in the country, when you're out here at the dirt tracks, happy hour starts as soon as the sun comes up. I do believe that is the rule. Here comes the Can Am. Once again, this young man giving it everything he got. Oh, he's losing his shorts a little bit out there. Great job, other than he might need to get a belt. I think he was mooning us a little bit on that pass. That's all right, that happens. When I see a quad like that, it must be time to have a cold one, huh? Oh my goodness. <laughs> and there may be some other competitions going on over here as well. What do we play? Who's winning? Well, Who's I winning? don't know right now, but I'm gonna try to get some. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, it's coming. Uh oh. Always something entertaining going on at the dirt tracks. What can I say? It's a 300-foot race course, always prepped to perfection, and this is grudge life, no time style. What that means is times are kept a secret, but I will work hard to try to get you some elapsed times for some of these machines. Oh, he passed up the staging beams. There's where the staging beams are, right there, overshot it a little bit. Oh, is he a new rider, or is it part of the hustle? You never know. Oh, getting a little loose out there. Who needs a sports book when you can come here? Stay with us till the end of this video because we've got so much to see. Oh, 1133.66. Yes, it does have a big fat bottle of nitrous. This nitrous can't am is a beast. Just doesn't want to keep that front wheel down. Yeah, uh, 1133 cc's with a big shot of nitrous will cause a wheelie even on the dirt. Getting the hot water out, putting cool the water in. Nice and cool. Looking good, guys. Looking good. Getting dialed in bright and early. And guys, I, I do think it is still happy hour. Good man, drinking cold, bro. Right? Is it happy hour? That's hey, a big bro. question. Hey, is it, this brother? Is I heard it. Christian wanna be. Oh, yeah? No, oh. no, Christian's a him wanna be. Oh, oh Christian's <laughs> wanna be. I heard it's always happy hour at the dirt tracks. That's that right. Right. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So many marvels of engineering here. Take a look at this turbo Can-Am. And wait a minute, what do I smell? It smells like the NHRA race. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. Did I hear this? Are we burning nitro? Whoa. We're burning nitro, guys. We gotta see this. Oh, here comes the nitro. Whoa. This is crazy. We're gonna have to find out more about this thing. Guys, this is a Can-Am Outland. A big, heavy 4x4, and this man has decided to put nitromethane in it. Here we go. Oh, lifting the front wheels. I bet your Outlander doesn't run like that. Ah, and I, this one I thought two stroke smoke smells the best. Nitro's off pretty good, too. Sometimes Let's find out more. Okay. No <laughs> what are we cooking? Pasta salad and chicken. When he gets a break from welding, we have got to catch up with him and talk to him about this. All right, so I got to ask you. Right. Nitro in a quad. Why yes, nitro in a quad? Because they said it can't be done. That's what everyone's told me. They said a normal aspirated quad can't happen. So I, I've made it happen over the last few years. What are some of the uh, challenges you've run into? We know nitro. nitro. The old saying goes, nitro is not your friend. No, it's not. It breaks parts. <laughs> and the more load you put on it, the more stuff it breaks, but it goes faster. Uh, fuel system, that's the biggest issue. The fuel system is non-stop maintenance. You feel like you're getting a handle on it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's coming around. Yeah, oh. putting more load on it, just change clutch stuff up, getting more load on the bike now. Uh, we'll put the wheelie bar on in a little while so I can actually launch it hard and see what it'll do. You're fearless. So it's been running 430s, no bar, easing out of the hole. So we'll see if I can get a 390 out today. Hope for the best. Good luck. Yeah, man, appreciate it. You hear that hard on parts. So before any of you youngsters try to put nitro in dad's outlander, think twice about that one. I also want to know who would be brave enough to ride this. Let me know in the comments. Here we go. That thing's hooking up, spraying roost. Nice pass. Oh, Unbelievable. Nitro quad in the mud. I think that I think that lunch you gave him gave him some good energy. What do you think about that? Yeah, hopefully. Wow. <laughs> Plenty of classes for side-by-side -side racers as well. These can amps are fast. Is he got this thing hopped up or what? Moving. All right, guys. So we found out technical difficulties with the scoreboards, but we got my man up here. What was that last run? 
three ninety nine with a four. What was the speed? I'm not sure. I didn't see. It. I didn't look at that. Okay, three ninety nine <laughs> with a four. We'll keep you updated on more incremental. Now we know. Prepping the racetrack, and I just spotted one back in the pitch. You're not going to believe. But first, let's watch Team Mocha continue to dial into this two-stroke. Ah, oh, can you smell that glorious two-stroke exhaust? Get a whiff of that. I wish I could permeate it through the phone, through the device for all of you. But this is the next best thing. I take you with me through all my travels. We're in the country. We're spraying dirt. Now, what lady wouldn't want a man covered in dirt that smells like delicious two-stroke exhaust? Good stuff. Travel far and wide. I gotta say, this is some good old boys, some good old girls having fun in the dirt. Nothing wrong. Here's something I bet you've never seen before. How about a supercharged Can-Am quad? Not really how we know these big beasts. They're kind of the lumbering monsters of the woods. Lumbering is the key word because we're here at the Lumber River Sand Drags Southern Power Sports Drag Racing Association. And I will tell you what. Is this thing a monster or what? 300 horsepower, yes. Yeah, when too much is not enough, you end up putting a pro charger on one of these quads. I do know one thing, it's gotta make for one heck of a ride. Oh my gosh, it is a supercharged Can-Am. Here we go. This is drag racing for you. Innovation, pushing the limits. Somebody will figure out how to put a pro charger on a Can-Am. Look at that thing getting loose. That is certainly not your average Can-Am quad, I can tell you that. It's getting later, a few more drinks being consumed, the card game's heating up, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like an awesome bar with live entertainment. Fans love it. When you get down to it, what is drag racing? It's an acceleration contest. It's something that certainly spikes the adrenaline for many, it's something that Gets the engineers interested back there in the pits, and whether you do it on the dirt or asphalt, it's always a good time. And that includes if you just want to hang out and spectate and have a couple cold ones over there. Horsepower Theater at its finest here on Cycle Drag. Smash subscribe if you like it. And check this out. We've got the four-stroke, two-stroke rivalry raging out here, just like we see in other forms of racing. The Can-Am taking on the Banshee. Who will get there first? That two-stroke is gone. The Can-Am trying to hang with them. But the two-stroke takes the win. Man, those two-strokes are fast. Wicked. And here comes Mr. Nitro again. He is just wild and crazy. My goodness. This series is wild and crazy. Let's find out more from the promoter. Well, I, I, you tell I've already been christened. Dirt on my face. David Applegate Sr., thank you so much for having us. Explain to me... Why do you do it in the dirt? What is the thrill here as so, opposed to asphalt racing? So I come from the blacktop years ago. My dad, my grandpa, we all run NHRA. Very cool. All three of my kids ran junior drag circuit. Um, 2008 hit. Uh, my mom had put up with it for a long time. And she told us guys and my dad, she goes, that's it. We're done. All I've done is drag race. That's it. So 2008, we put it away. And uh, dad sold the car. Um, and we just all kind of done that. Well, the kids got a little bit older, and you do have dirt all over you. That's and okay. I love it. That's okay, I love man. It. I love it. I so, love it. Uh, I will wear that dirt like a badge of honor. Before we find out more about this series, let's watch these two strokes battle. They're on the line right now. What a thriller. Late is the left lane, but he's out of here. He is gone. Anyway, so uh, a couple of years later went by, and my kids said, Dad, we got to do something. So we got in the off road. And um, we started just riding four-wheelers and stuff like that around. Had a great time. And then uh, I bought the Can-Am, and I wrecked it. Rolled it two and a half times. I got it at the house. And I'm like, what am I going to do with this thing? Well, I started looking up drag racing. We will give you a taste of the dirt drag. Sir, what is for dinner tonight? What do we have in steak there? Steak bites. Oh, steak bites. Yeah. That's a delicacy from the track? Yeah. Let's see, what, let's see what we got over here. What, what? Oh, is that good? There we go. It's a taste of the racetrack. What is that? Oh, there, there you go. Hungry yet? Hey, here's something else cool that I really want to show you. That all staged up and ready to go. And as I said, here's the aforementioned external starter. When you go the external starter, that helps you save weight. Also, if it's a high compression engine, makes you turned over easier. These Banshee engines are highly tuned, highly built, big displacement, and high compression. So this really helps. We got ourselves another great battle. These two are rivals. 
full aftermarket custom chassis. As you can see, these things fly. Here we go. Creeping out. Uh-oh, problems. Problems right lane. Left lane is going to take it. What happened over there? Over here. Not sure what happened. What happened? You fucked up. Whoa, way to take it easy on him. Come on, he feels bad. He's probably starting to try to wheel the ball up. But now it's time to get it out, boy. It wheels a little worse. You put it in gear Problem rectified. We will get to see this beast in action hooking up. Haul in the mail. Moving down. Another try did the trick. Nice run. I just hope he's faster than those buffaloes down there. Hey, what do you think about these buffaloes out here? We're headed, we're headed for years. I don't know that I'm gonna get out of the car based on the fact that I don't know if the chicken wire is gonna hold these guys. Oh, these are some massive, massive animals. Well, this is a first for me. I've never seen buffalo right next to a drag strip. You definitely see some sights out here, that's for sure. Wow. Some massive creatures. They appear to be friendly though, at least at least from here. They appear to be friendly. I'll stay right here, though, and mind my manners. Those horns look sharp. Don't try this at home, kids. What happens when you take a piece of sausage from the hotel and throw it to the buffaloes? We're about ready to find out. Woo! Is somebody going to eat it? That was so anticlimactic. They don't want it. Huh. Well, that is the damnedest thing right there. They don't want it. Wow. And now they're walking away from me. This is like bad dating experiences. I'm sorry, buffaloes. My food wasn't good enough for you. I'm sorry you guys wanted to go to Morton's. Maybe we'll see if the new chef is down at Ricky's tonight. Good Lord. These are some highfalutin buffalo. Anyhow, have a nice day, buffalo. Let's go. They ever go wild? No, they're nice. Good stuff. You ever had any? No. Ah, well, hopefully this turbocharger is quick enough to outrun some buffaloes. Is this thing extreme or what? Here we go. Turbo power. Spooling up, letting her loose, spraying dirt in the air. They wisely got out of it. If it's a crooked pass, I don't care if you're on the dirt or not. Get out of that throttle, especially in testing. I gotta say thanks already showing cycle drag some big big love love the dirt i don't think a lot of people realize what it takes to get fast down the dirt um mine runs good but nowhere near like some of these guys and uh i'm in, it's impressive when you see a power sports engine you know some of these guys are running well over 90 miles an hour now we even got a couple side by sides it's been over 90. um but it's impressive to see what these guys do. And the manufacturers that are building these parts, you just can't say enough about them. It's fantastic. Um, love it. If you're not here, you need to be. Thanks for having us out here. There you go, two-stroke fans. He's checking that tire pressure. Three pounds, you say? Yep. Three pounds. He doesn't run much air in this. Very supportive girlfriend. Shout out. What's your name? Brittany. Nice to meet you. And who do we have over here? Cameron. Nice to meet you guys. So we got this awesome two-stroke Banshee, what's it like taking this thing down 300 feet wide open? I've never rode this one personally. This is going to be your first time? I'm not riding it. Okay, who's the ride? T. Wayne's going to ride it today. All right, sounds good, sounds good. Well, guys, I've learned a few things at the dirt tracks here, and one of them is two strokes are still awesome. I love all the little niches in motorsports, and I'll tell you, this team lives for this. The good news is they're here early, so they've got time to dial in this two-stroke and they continue to put down some impressive runs what we got going on over here <laughs> hey, yep. what happened <laughs> it's supposed well, to be on it's supposed to be on four wheels guys even in this sport we'll see a massive amount of technology working on the tune over there yes sir what do you think about conditions so far today oh, it's gonna get much better later this evening okay as the moisture comes up tracks gonna get much faster what are you doing right now i oh well i'm trying to get downloaded the RPM it turned, that's all I was wanting to know. Okay. This was my first test run of it. I hadn't had it back together and well, it's been six months since I've run it. So just trying to make sure she's running all right. We're going to make her uh, go this next time. Uh, Good luck to you. Few passes. <laughs> Another super cool livery that is always encouraged is camo, popular camo look. Yeah, we don't see a whole lot of camo at the drag strip, but you will see some camo here. Pretty cool. Breaking out the heavy artillery now. Here we go. Guys, a lot of maintenance being performed. Going on over here. Oh, we're running the 
Good gas. <laughs> yes. How about a little M5 pre-mix, of course, for that two-strick? It's gonna smell delicious. Smell delicious. Hey, are you fine? Well, this is so cool. Nice sticker. Is, it, is this mom? Yes. How you doing, mom? Good. How are you? Mom, pretty awesome. What do you think about getting son involved in this sport? Teaching him some good lessons. He loves it. Yeah, he's done it for since he was two. So. It's a little nerve wracking yeah. as a mom. Oh, absolutely. Well, yes. hey. This can't be as nerve wracking as when I'm riding a bench. You know, when he's riding the big things, it's way worse. But there you go. Well, you're making your mama proud. Keep being safe out there. And guys, I've said this many times. I think racing is a wonderful way to raise kids. Teaches them hard work discipline, teaches them how to lose, how to win. Racing is a good way to raise these children. Like this aspiring superstar out there on the YZ85. He's got his boots on too. I like that. Love it. Great for all ages. Little kids and the big kids. This is so cool. Hope you're loving it. We still got a lot more to see too. Watch all the way till the end. Here comes another two-stroke. Yes, it's still happy hour as you can see in the background. Always happy hour at the dirt races. I also want to know, have you ever been to a dirt drag race? Let me know about it down below in the comments. If you have any questions about this, let me know about it. My mind is pretty blown because I'm just so used to how clean the drag races are and just how much of a neat freak a lot of these drag racers are. Well, this adds a whole new element. Do it in the dirt, but you're going to have to power wash it. Oh, a shower of dirt. Man, I'll tell you, you can throw seats down and plant corn around here too. It's so beautiful. Got to love it. Tastes good too inadvertently tasting that dirt and the promoter inadvertently hurt his car disaster averted dave applegate thought he cooked the transmission locked up a transmission but thankfully it's it's still an issue but it's not as bad as the locked up transmission huh no what do we, we have good? to change over here so i've already been on the phone with Lonnie angel from angel performance who i get my uh, clutches from and he's gonna uh he's gonna get me a new spider which is this coming Still good we're safe if that would have happened going down the track could have been bad so good to go now i get to enjoy myself meet everybody have fun if you ain't here you need to be here enjoy so tough break sounds familiar i won't be able to make it down the racetrack but as he said disaster averted thankfully it didn't happen while he was going down the racetrack could have been a whole lot worse tough break make sure you check him out on facebook make sure you check this series out because there is a lot to see almost 1200 cc See if they can get the front wheel down this time. They do. And trust me, track prep has a lot to do with that. Well, Robbie, doing a fine job running this racetrack. You're telling me you guys are open every other Friday? Every other Friday. Starting two weeks from now. What's the participation like here in North Carolina? Uh, great. People bringing dirt bikes? Anything, whatever. Uh, yeah. How about the fans? Plenty of them. Ah, uh, they yeah. like to come. I mean, why go to a sports bar when you could come here and get some live action, right? Uh, get all you want. How often do you have to prep the track? Get all the fans. Doing the race, every four bikes I do the track. Every four bikes. But doing testing for these little guys, just let them make passes. Oh, thanks so much. Thank oh, you for yeah. doing what you do. You He's know. keeping the track prep on point. Track water going on right now. Lumber River Sand Drags. Big shout out to my guys. Keeping the hook just right. Different kind of prep. You know, on asphalt, we see the tire drag. We see the tractor. Here they get the hose out. They get the till out. And the barbecue game is strong. Thank you guys very, very much. And special... Special sweet tea recipe? We like it, thank you very much. And the wise you have. And they let me ride it. Oh man, I'm spoiled. Somebody let me ride their bike. I guess I'll take them up on that. What year is this thing? Uh, 21. 21, wow, this is your bike? Yes sir. You're awesome, thank you very much. Now I really appreciate offers to let me ride bikes, but normally when I'm covering a race, I don't do it because the number one goal is don't get hurt. But this was just too fun to pass up. For, I we need got, these guys. We got helmets. <laughs> yeah, I know. I do need a helmet. Thank you. This is no, no. We got though. a helmet, and you can go down the race. Oh, I don't know about that. All right. Hey, go for full, it. full leathers and boots. We need some thumbs up. Thumbs up. You want to see Jack go down the drag strip <laughs> on this bike? This we need awesome, some thumbs man. up. Come on. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, we'll put a little M5 in that Yamaha. Be careful. This is the this is the good stuff. Oh, he's got it a little tuned up. I think they make they want me to make a pass. I got shorts on though. Kids don't try this at home. We will have a helmet. Got the sweet tea. Sweet tea passes the uh, test 
rather sweet, but it's good. All right, couple of two strokes, ready to get down, ready to do battle. You think you got him? He's got him with a Kickstarter. Has he got the kickstart? He does. They've got the kickstart over here. They've got the external starter over here, just like in drag racing. Some of the fast drag bikes have that small, lightweight starter. This is going to be a showdown, guys. Right lane or left lane. Yeah, here comes another showdown. We had a little problem with this one last time, if you remember, so hopefully we get it straight. And we get to watch these two awesome two-stroke fanchies. Go at it. Head to head. Sounds amazing. Turn up your speakers. It is go time. Who will get the win? Oh, right side, but way before the tree activated, he messed up again. I think that's how his friend said it. Maybe not in those terms, but uh, tough break for him. He will learn the right system. Let's see what this competitor can do here. Left lane. He's been doing this for many years. Lightweight jockey, and he flies. Oh, he would have been tough to beat. That is for sure. Oh, that's only 300 feet, but boy, it goes by quick. They'll do it in about three and a half seconds. Some of them may even break under three seconds. I didn't break anything. <laughs> Is that a one beer job or a two beer job? It's a one beer right All now. All right, he's still some nursing. <laughs> He ran a personal best in testing. Looking to keep going deep into the threes with his Can-Am X3. Oh, is that thing fast? Web camshafts equipped. Wow. This thing is insane. He will face some stiff competition from 357, though. Yeah, 357 is tough. The only bad news for us, guys, is it's getting very dark. These skies are getting dark. Uh-oh. Sometimes, guys, they get a little wet out here. They just call this track watering that the dirt drags. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it interrupted our, our expert cook, though. I do apologize for that. Good Lord. Oh, no. Oh, no. He got caught. <laughs> oh, man. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. Left lane. Rain or shine. And despite that shower, guys, a big advantage that they have out here is if we were at the drag races, the asphalt drag races, we'd probably be done for the day. Not here. Just a brief watering. Why is it called Lumber River Raceway, you may ask? I had to share this view with everybody all over the world. I get to see some pretty cool stuff in my travels. Look at this, guys. Beautiful. God's country here in North Carolina. Looks like something out of a movie. It is the Lumber River here in North Carolina. Something to see, that's for sure. Lumber River. What the heck is that? What's on that tree? I'm not sure about that, but I know this road is crazy busy, so I'm going to get back to the car and get to the races before I end up getting hit. The chances I take for you on cycle drag here, I hope you appreciate it. Not much of a shoulder, but boy, the view is pretty. See you next time, Lumber River. Man, you doing okay with no shoes? I'm worried about your feet. They're going to get cut up. It's comfortable, huh? I'll make it right. All right. I get by with it. Yes, you are, man. How are you enjoying this event? It, good job and check out what they do here guys this is called a snorkel it comes on these quads and so you can run them underwater they turn them around to force more air in those drag racers will find a little performance trace sometimes a little maintenance in the pit is required to go to work what happened over here i got a picture of the it. o2 bung Blown out. He's got a picture of the O2 sensor for whatever reason. The the weld, the pipe, it cracked and oh. blew a hole in it. So the kids couldn't ride it no more. It's blowing on the fuel tank. All right, so, so we got it, shut all, it all fixed up. It's just patched up for right now. Uh, enough to get us get us back working. So they can run it today. Good stuff. Nice fix, Dad. That'll keep him in the game. Nice to have a welder in the pits too. Nice to have a grill. There's some expert cooks over there. Hamburgers today. Hello, gotta Hello. love it. Gotta love it. Checking air pressure back here, fellas. Now that we got a thoroughly watered track are we changing air pressure at all yes sir oh yes, what are we doing drop it down that 60. okay yeah. how many pounds are we running now we got three right now three pounds of air wow oh this place is gonna be perfect just like that we're back kids are gonna
going to love this fresh prep. And again, I repeat, what a massive advantage that we can keep racing. We'd be done in the asphalt, oh. but you're in the dirt. Rain won't stop them. Look at those trophies. You got that one. Fun for the kids and the big kids. And I see a turbo. He said he went with a Can Am V Twin. And why did you go with the V Twin? Oh, I like Matt Smith's hey, voice. There it is. <laughs> Catching on. And we got to say a big shout out to Rodney Williford because he was the one that helped you put the turbo yeah, on Rodney and Wilford. the Max ECU on this piece. I want to shout out to Curtis, uh, Mocha Mods too. Mocha. Ty Nelson and, and T Wayne for helping with the tuning and everything. Thank you, Mocha. How much horsepower do you think this machine makes? 18 pounds of boost. It made 200 to the tire. Woo! 200 to the we tire. We can go up to about 34 pounds. What's the weak point here? Cases. 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 That's, stock, uh, cases. that's the stock bottom end on it right now. So our bill of cases next? Bill of cases will be next probably by the end of the year because the big race at the end of the year, if we don't push it to the point of no return, we'll have to get some bill of cases over the winter. <laughs> That's a 11-2 sprocket on the front and a 91-2 sprocket on the back. Massive 91-2 sprocket on the back. This thing could climb a tree. 300 horsepower. Here we go. That turbo ready to blast off, but wait a minute. We're here and we may have something on top end. Safety crew. Uh-oh. We got one stop. We got one stop at the end of the track. Good call by our safety crew here. Looks like something. Oh, we'll get them off the racetrack safely. I was trying to get your attention. He hadn't got off the track yet up top. Oh, I was looking at the phone. Yeah. Look. You we got him off, guys. And we get good. set it's to bring good. up right, a Max ECU Rodney Williford Turbo System V-Twin. It's a Can-Am. Here we go. Look at that whole shot, digging in, lifting the front wheels, power clearly on display. There you go, turbo fans. Is that awesome or what? Can't ask for much better than that. Hooked up, smooth, he's gonna be tough. Another test hit for our new rider coming up as well. Wish him good luck. That's what's cool, guys. We've got 20, 30, 40 year veterans out here and brand new riders mixing it up. Hey, how about it for the first ever event? Looking like a veteran out there. Nice, clean, straight run. Fine job, young man. Another hit for these guys. Oh, they continue to have some problems on the launch. What do you think's wrong with that thing? Let me know. They will get it figured out, though, for sure. That's getting a little rough and bumpy. Short wheelbase on this one. Whoa, out of the groove. Hold on. Tell it gets a little bumpy down there. Some braking bumps down in the shutdown. Interesting technique here all the way forward. All the way forward, trying to keep that front wheel down. I don't think he's got enough weight on the rear end, though. I think that's why it's breaking loose. May want to lean back. And that thing is dancing all over the place, breaking loose. Another amazing turbo machine. The good news for him, I'm here in the track, is perfect right now. After that watering, we're dialed in. It's a fast track here at Lumber River. It can be difficult to steer, that's for sure. My man. It's hard to keep it. Well, I heard I heard you say you like it to stay black, not gray, right? Want it to be black. That's how you know it's nice and moist. Yeah, that's it. That's when she's fast. So you were saying 9 p.m. it may be the best? Wow, so the later it gets, getting it out of that hot sun helps, huh? Oh, all the time. See that there? No good. He wants it to stay black, not gray. And they're adamant. They want me to make a pass. Oh, <laughs> you think it's a good Are you sure you want the media guy to make a pass? Oh, <laughs> what, what if, if I end up Do down in the, in the Little River, Lumber River? Where's the Lumber River? River? Pretty rough right now. I think their main objective might be to get me hurt for their own entertainment, but heck, we'll give it a shot. Here we go. Oh man, that front wheel was pulling up on me. This bike's faster than I thought. I didn't want to break it. That was the goal. 
I didn't want to break myself. That was my one and only shot. I, wanted, I took her soft out of the hole. I didn't want to. I didn't want to wreck the nice man's bike or, or wreck myself here immediately. But man, that thing was that thing was fun. It was hard to keep the front wheel down. So much fun. I underestimated that Yamaha. It surprised me with how fast it was and how much you wanted to wheel it. All right, you ready? It's time to let the real pro make a pass. Here you go. Those will get you get you going. Good luck out there. You like the sand drags? Oh yeah. Check this exotic thing out. What is your name, sir? What's your name, sir? James Lawrence. James, where are you from? Georgia. Good to see you, man. Now, I noticed you're one of the few guys in here with a wheelie bar. Why the wheelie bar? We run a weight class in a couple of um, places and just run a wheelie bar to be more consistent. One less thing to worry about, right? right. Good luck to you. Now, over here, no wheelie bar. You tempted to have a wheelie bar like your man over here? Nah, no bar game. You like the no bar racing? Yeah. All right. My sticker, man. I like it. Good stuff. And don't forget, you can get your official shirt at CycleDragShop.com. Every shirt comes with a sticker. And check out this brave little man coming up. Uh, check out little man. He can't be any more than eight years old. He's on this big Outlander. God bless. Great instruction. And I have been on the record many times by saying I feel like racing is such a beneficial hobby for children. As long as they have their proper safety gear on, teaches them hard work, discipline, gets them off the couch, gets them off the device, and they just plant a seed for years to come. Look at that light, too. He's going to take the win. Left side red lights, keeping it straight. Good job. Hey, little man did a good job hanging with him. Very precocious young man. And with age comes a cage. Here comes a fast can-am. Blast it down this lumber river drag strip in Maxton NC. Uh-oh. I think the can-am driver lost a bunch of time slips out of the back. Too much fun. I only have one complaint. I'll tell, I'll tell you one thing I don't like here at night. Mosquitoes coming out. Oh, even with all these two strokes around, we still got the mosquitoes getting me. You would, you would think these banshees would kill them. I need to go stand next to the, go to stand next to that two stroke. Now this will kill some mosquitoes for me. I need to stand by this thing. Getting bit up. Let's hear some sweet two stroke music with the cowboy boots on. Yeah, let me get over here. That'll kill those mosquitoes. Let's get some of that two stroke smoke. And kudos to our new rider because as you can see, he did upgrade his footwear. He went from the Hey Dudes to the Cowboy Boots. So congratulations on that. He still may want to rethink the boxer short slash swim trunk attire. He may want to get something a little more protective. Right side is off. Left side, I think, is going to hang back and wait until that young man clears the track before he makes another rip on this ultra ultra fast two-stroke yamaha banshee here comes some competition pulling up in the right lane let me know what you guys think about this crazy sport i want your comments down below what would you race he's off 
If you could only race one type of vehicle, one type of quad, what would you pick? Oh man, fist, face full of dirt. Gotta love it. Two stroke smoke everywhere, guys. That is first event. Let's get his reaction. Well, I must say, for your first ever event, you're doing a great job. Thank you, sir. What's it feel like down there? It's amazing. We still got some adjustments to make to them. What's the hardest part of this? Really, the tuning. Tuning it. Tuning the carburetors. Tuning the carburetors. How about from a rider's standpoint? What's the toughest thing? It's a little oh. choppy down there. On the big end, it's a little rough. Well, you gotta, you gotta keep yourself on it, make sure you can stop in time. It's all just a procedure that runs through your head. You just gotta make sure you're on point with it. 1180 cc's on nitrous now, sir. You run the turbo bike, the nitrous bike. Which one do you like better? Uh, I like this one pretty good because I ride it. My brother rides the other one, but uh, I do like the turbo bike pretty good. Yeah. But, uh, well, we got bad news. That one's just injured. Yeah, I lost fuel pump on the on Ooh. the uh, turbo bike. That methanol, she's rough on stuff. Well, let's hope for a good pass right here on this machine. Here comes Adam Ray on the nitrous B-Twin. 1,100 cc's. Let's hope she starts. He's got a turbo. He's also got a nitrous bike. He likes the nitrous bike. So oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Come on, baby. Let's hope she fires up. There it is. That's what I was going to say. Even though I've seen him go to the cooler seven times, the same beer. Hey, it's okay. He's the crew chief tonight. He's not riding. So here you go, Honda fans. Something for you. I know we've got a lot of Honda fans out there. He's talking to himself, shifting this thing emphatically. And the party is on over here. Is the party people here or what? Party people. And here comes our new rider up once again. He's getting some laps in tonight. He's getting some seat time. And that's what it is all about looking smooth great job and the party's on too you guys believe me that's his first beer that's what he's saying hey nonetheless he's having a good time enjoying his night watching his turbo bike try to make a big hit here how about that cheers lifting those front wheels getting loose that thing's a handful i'll drink to that remember that's that's 300 feet that's a football field it's 100 yards guys 88 miles an hour Woo! feels a whole lot faster than that too in the dirt well, sir, you could help me. I'm giving a shout out to the party people. We got the party people back here, huh? Is this a, is this where the party's at tonight? Yeah, this is smoke This is all party back here. Oh, VIP, so, come on in. Good, good. Oh, it's a VIP. Yeah, you can do whatever you call it a VIP. Have you ever heard that Jason Aldean song, How They Get Down in the Woods? Pretty much all the lyrics to every Jason Aldean song. This is how they get down. Might not be that Georgia clay, but it's that North Carolina dirt. And this crew is having a good time. Oh, yeah, we having a good time? Woo! Yes, we are having a good time over here. I'm thinking best pass of the night. What do you think? All right, she says probably. Now, is that young lady awesome or what? I had to ask her because I know she was very knowledgeable about the sport. She's been here all day. Also brought me some Sweetos. Not Cheetos, but Sweetos. It's the first time I ever tried one. So a delicacy. 
here in Maxton, North Carolina. And this couple wants nothing more than to see this man. He's best. See if he can do it. This is the aforementioned perfect track conditions. Look at that black soil. Shout out to my man over here. It looks like he's grooming a baseball field. Got that thing perfectly prepped. Smooth. Here comes this two-stroke. Looking for his best pass here as we bring her home from Maxton, North Carolina. Hooks up, doesn't spin right down Broadway. Nice clean straight run. Nice rake job. Nice. How about that one, huh? You called it. You knew it was going to be fast. And you did a great job on the rake there. Good job, guys. Good job. This team is absolutely loving it. Best pass so far. They're going to go get their time ticket right up there in the booth. There it is. What was it? What was the mile an hour? 88 miles an hour. Good job, guys. 88 miles an hour and just 300 feet. How cool is that? Gotta love the smiles. I hope this video made you smile. Enjoy it, share it. This is what it's all about, guys. Maxton, North Carolina, God's country. He's doing a great job. He's throwing some roost. Guys, is this awesome or what? We got the party people back there. We got the card game over here. We've been to the sand tracks. This is our first ever time going to the dirt tracks. We love it. Do it in the dirt. Hey, make sure you check out all of our videos. We got a lot more coming. Big thanks to everybody here. Lumber River Dragway is awesome. Southern Power Sports Drag Racing Series. Guys, they're great. Check them out. If you like this video, here's another one for you. Subscribe right in the middle and you know if there's anything. Fast motorcycles or drag racing, even in the dirt, we're in. From North Carolina, Cycle Drag rolls on.